So the, the Denswood philosophy in life is, we have a stinking foot theory, we call it. Why would you tell people your feet stink? Let them find out on their own. There's a good chance they'll never know unless you tell them. So why would you tell folks your feet stink? mean to you when people refer to you as the guys who revolutionized the PR industry and drag racing? Well, people have poor memories is the biggest thing going for us. So. It, it's like anything, I think we get far more credit than we deserve, but uh, things were different back when we were handling the uh, press and publicity than they are now. Even though he, he's often criticized for the cars of the stars philosophy that, that, that he had, he did realize that there was some benefit to, uh, to publicizing the, the drivers and the personalities. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> Believe it or not, was we became friends with the media. Uh, drag racing, they could care less about putting in their newspapers on our TV stations. But when we came to town, they knew we were going to eat in the nicest restaurants, come probably drink the best booze there was. So we had a big time. And uh, with that, unfortunately, come consequences. So sometimes you uh, make some poor choices and do get in a little bit of a jam from time to time. Well, I, I think we, we came from an era but when sex was safe and drugs were legal. I, 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 it probably wasn't that way, but it seemed like that's the way it was. And so you just kind of roll with the flow. explain to Wally time and time again, I cannot get a top fuel car into the elevator to New York Times, but I can get Shirley Modowney in the elevator to New York Times. In fact, Jack Hart was still alive, Vice President of the at the time, and he came down to our, we had a little cubby hole in the basement of the NHR headquarters and say, justify this to me of paying a racer to do press and publicity for us. Now that I didn't understand then and still don't now. How can I pick up USA Today on Monday morning and not be results of an NHRA national event in it? You know, when USA Today first started publishing, that was one of our main targets, again, USA Today. I remember the first feature we got in, it was for the US Nationals, it was a feature on Don Perdome. And I was so proud of that, and I told everybody who would listen, pick up tomorrow's USA Today, because there's gonna be a feature drag race in USA Today. The night before our story was up here, Arthur Ashe died. Well, that took up every section of every <laughs> paper in the country. Not a word on track race was in USA Today. But uh, so we still had to battle uh, the major league sports and whatnot. I called Dave McClellan, who was my boss at the time, and, and I said, I just have three things to say. I'm drunk, I'm in jail, and I quit. 